Hey y'all, hey, it's Vaya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be making these cute little mini candy bags. Big shout out to Do Dream On and Jay Stewart's on YouTube. They have made these for hot cocoa and hot chocolate packages. I made mine for candy. This is for my kids for school. So I thought these were so, so, so cute. I'm going to show you how that's done today. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Turn on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a video. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. You know how to work it. Work, work, work. Hey, y'all. So the products that we're going to be using today are our premium photo paper I got this from the Dollar Tree it comes eight sheets of photo paper for one dollar you're gonna need a ruler a pair of scissors you're gonna need your exacto knife or blade double-sided tape a crimper and some chocolates I'm gonna be using Hershey Kisses okay that's it let's head over to our laptop so we can get designing hey y'all so before we begin I want to give a huge shout out to do dream on and Jay Stewart's laboratory here on YouTube they are my inspiration for this video today. They went ahead and created the cutest, when I tell you cutest, it's the cutest packaging for hot cocoa and hot chocolates. And I love it. So shout out to you ladies. I'm going to go ahead and attempt to make it myself. We're going to add a little twist to it. Ours is going to be mini candy bags. Okay, so we're going to have candy inside our bags. My son's school, they sent a letter home asking us um, to send the kids in with some candy if the parents are okay with that, of course. And I said, this is perfect. I can personalize my son's little mini candy bag and he can have his little candy inside his bag and bring it to school for the holidays. So thought that was so cute. I already went ahead and designed the design for my son's mini candy bag, but I also have a three-year-old daughter. And when I tell you she wants to be included, she wants to be included in everything. So whatever we do for my son, even though he is seven and he is in school, my daughter wants it too. So I'm going to design hers for you here on Canva. We're going to be designing in Canva. So we head over to canva.com and I'm going to go ahead and click on all your designs and then click on my design that I made for my son. And this is it right here. His name is TJ. All right. So now let's get designing for my daughter. I'm going to click on add page. This is an eight and a half by 11 canvas. All right. And so I'm going to start off by clicking elements. And I'm going to type in Christmas background. And then I'm going to scroll down and find the background that I want to use for this. And with Canva, there's so many different options, so many different templates, backgrounds, clip art you can choose from. And I love that about Canva. They have free ones. And then if you're a pro member, you get access to, you know, more features and things of that nature. I like this, I'm gonna select this. This is for pro members. So if you're not a pro member, you won't be able to use this particular design. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so I can see. I'm going to stretch this design out so that it's measured at eight and a half by 11. I'm then gonna drag it down because our height has to be 6.2. Now we have to find the middle of our design, which is going to be where we fold the bag. 
You can simply do this by dividing eight and a half by two, which is 4.25. We're gonna head over to file and we're gonna click on show rulers because we need a, we need a ruler to see where 4.25 is, right? Then we're gonna head back over to file, click on it. And then we're gonna click on show guides because we want the guide to help us determine where that middle is exactly. You can slide it over vertically and then you can slide it down horizontally, okay? You know you reach the middle when your purple color turns magenta. You see how it's at 4.25? That's our middle. That's where we're gonna be folding our mini bag, okay? Let's continue designing. I'm gonna head over to uploads and I'm gonna search my daughter. I have one photo of her in here. Hi, Jayla. All right. And this is little Miss Jayla. I don't like the background around Jayla. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the background. Another benefit of having Pro, um, being a Pro member is its features, you can remove your background for free with the pro version of Canva. How you do that is you have your picture selected, you head over to edit image, and then you select BG remover, which stands for background remover. It removes the background. I'm gonna click on apply, and then I'm gonna make Jayla a little smaller. Remember, we, we need room at the bottom for the bottom and the top for our crimper. I'm gonna go head over to elements and I'm gonna select circle. Okay. I'm gonna change the color of the circle. And I wanna use the colors, one of the colors that's in our graphic already. What Canva does is Canva has a selection of all the photo colors that's in your photo. It says photo colors and it gives us all of the co colors that's in your photo or in your graphic that you can choose from if you want to keep a color scheme going. I'm going to select this color here. I'm going to drag my circle outwards to make it an oval and then simply decrease it to make it smaller. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller like so, because I wanna make sure I still have room for the crimp. I'm actually gonna make Jayla's picture a little bit smaller as well, bring her down, and then bring the oval down, stretch it out a little bit, like so. Let's increase it so we can see. I'm gonna add text. I'm gonna use the pre-font combinations here. I like this glow. I'm going to decrease the size to 50 so that I can see better. And then I'm going to add my text. Okay. I'm going to change the color. Let's see if I like this color actually. I'm going to keep this color. I like this color. I'm just going to make it tab it smaller so that I can fit in the oval, like so. I'm going to head back over to Elements, and I'm going to type in chocolate in the search bar this time because I want to add some chocolate clip arts. I'm going to scroll down and select the chocolates that I want. I'm going to choose this one. This is free. And then I'm just going to size it. so that I can fit right underneath, whoops. Let me undo real quick, because it's behind Jayla's um, name. So I'm just gonna drag this down and then just decrease the size that way. You could have gone over to position and um, move Jayla's name backwards so that the chocolates can be in the front. That was, that's another option that you can do as well. I'm gonna head back over to elements and then I wanna find a square. I'm gonna click on this square 
I'm going to change the color to the same color as the oval. And I'm going to make it into a small rectangle. Like so. I'm going to drag it down and I'm going to bring it slightly over to the bottom. I'm going to click on Uploads, click Exit, and then I'm going to select this. This is another nutrition facts, not really a nutrition facts, but you know, some facts that they have um, on chip bags or when you're making your custom chip bags. I'm going to add this on the front. And I'm going to place it right on top of our box. I got this from a course that I took. It was, if it was free with the course, but I'm pretty sure you can find this on Etsy or on Google. And I'm just going to center it a little better. Let me zoom in and then just center it. It's not center. Uh, okay, that'll do for now. All right, so now I'm going to add in our nutrition facts. I have my uploads still selected, and I'm just going to import our nutrition facts. I got this from Etsy. You can use any nutrition facts you like. And I'm just going to customize it to what I want by adding some text. Click on text and add a subheading and I'm going to type 100% of love well oh, one second what's this I don't know where that came from y'all 100% <laughs> of love and I'm going to expand that I'm going to change the font to army mo and then I'm just going to size it to fit where it says serving size. I'm going to increase our design so I can see better. I want to change the color to pink. Then what you could do is just duplicate these boxes and change the name of what you want to be in your nutrition facts. So how you do that is you click on the, the three dots here, select duplicate, and then you can just drag it, highlight it, and then add your text. I'm going to do it again. Okay, and I'm going to do it again. and then so on and so forth. And I'm gonna just add one more. Okay. Now I'm just going to just align them like so. Just bring this over a little bit. And again, you can do whatever you want um, with your alignment, your colors, your fonts. It's completely 100% customizable. Okay. And I think that's pretty good, you guys. I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. Just a little bit. I want it to be like in the middle a little bit. Let's see if I can get it in the middle. I noticed that when you zoom in, you're, you have more control. Okay. Last thing is I'm going to add a little bit more customization. I'm going to head over to the front of our bag. Click on that. Click on those chocolates. Duplicate it. and duplicate it twice. Two more times, I mean, two more times. All right, then I'm gonna head over to Elements, type in Santa, scroll down, and I like this here. It's the reindeers with Santa. I'm gonna 
put it on top of our nutrition facts and I'm gonna change the color to white. And I'm gonna enlarge it just a little bit. And we're done. We're finished designing. I'm gonna actually uh, fix that to make it a little bit more unison. Like so. That's so much better. All right, now it's time for printing. We're gonna click on download. We're going to leave it the file type as a PNG, and then we're gonna click download again. Okay, once it finished downloads, it's going to download as a zip file. You open the zip file up, and then your design will appear. I'm gonna double click the second one because that's the one we just did. I'm gonna click on the print icon, select my printer. I'm using my Epson E2800 series. The orientation is gonna remain in portrait. I only need one copy. I'm using my main tray, the paper size is eight and a half by 11. The paper type is glossy paper from the Dollar Tree. And then everything else is going to remain the same. I'm gonna click on more settings. And the most important part of this is the output quality. You want to make sure that you select high quality or best quality. I'm going to scroll down. There is borderless printing. For some reason, this printer doesn't allow me to print on to print with borderless. But if your printer does, I will recommend you print borderless printing. Click on OK and then print. Hey y'all. Okay, so we have our design printed. And look at how gorgeous that came out on this photo paper. Okay, so because my printer didn't allow me to print borderless, I had to go ahead and trim off all of this excess paper. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to align it as close as possible. Take my blade and slice it on through like so and now because of this my design is no longer eight and a half by eight and a half by 11 of course not 11 because we had to snip off all that extra paper at the bottom but it is no longer eight and a half which means our scoring line will not be three, 4.25 anymore either. We'll have to remeasure to see where our center is. Okay, if you hear my daughter in the background, please don't mind her. She's with me right now. Little Miss Jayla. Okay, and this is the last corner. Just wanna line this up. Okay, so. Now that we have our excess white paper trimmed away, I'm gonna measure to see where we're at now. So it looks like we're at seven, 7 so I think I'm gonna have to go based on to 7 point so I'm gonna have to score it at 3 3.75 which is here let me see something let me just fold it real quick let's see right here I'm sorry y'all I just want to see something real quick all right so we have to follow the measurements that's on this board right here so according to where I pinched for my score we have to score at 3.5 in order to get an even fold so that's what I'm gonna do 
And we gonna hope that this works. Okay. So you can see our score here. Okay, not bad. Perfect. It is actually perfect. So, I'm going to take my double-sided tape. And I'm going to place a little here at the bottom. Like so. And I'm going to take my scissors. If I can find my scissors. Here they go. And I'm going to cut right before the score. And then take this corner, slide it back like so. Now we're just going to align it. Okay, so it looks like this. You can take your scissors and trim off the white part. Like so. Okay, you have your open spot right here for your candy. Now I'm going to take my crimper and I'm going to crimp. Okay. And I'm going to do the other side. Okay, now we're going to take our candy and just dump a few in here. That should be good. Here. Okay. Okay. Take some double sided tape.